Hey guys, Cliff here for That Was History. Some of you have asked us to film this a few weeks ago, so without further ado, here's another quick history video, this time featuring the state of Alaska. As you are probably aware, Alaska is the 49th state of the United States of America, a fairly young state compared to the first 13 colonies, but Alaska is filled with history nonetheless. Most historians speculate that the first people to inhabit Alaska did so by way of a land bridge between Asia and North America, where the Bering Strait is located today. It is believed that this bridge was largely made of ice that formed during the extremely cold temperatures of the time period. As ice formed, the sea level dropped and this land bridge was accessible. Many of the tribes that currently live in Alaska, such as the Eskimos, are believed to be descendants of the first tribes to cross the land bridge into this territory. Moving forward hundreds of years, the first European adventurers made their way into Alaska from Russia in the 1700s. Vitus Bering, a Russian explorer from Denmark, is considered the first European to reach Alaska. Due to this, many parts of the Alaska region were named after him. You have the Bering Strait, the Bering Sea, Bering Island where he eventually died of scurvy, Bering Glacier, and even the land bridge I mentioned earlier is referred to as the Bering Land Bridge. Bering's investigation of Alaska sparked an interest for Russian traders seeking to take advantage of the vast amounts of wildlife in the area. In 1784, the first white settlement was founded at Three Saints Bay in Kodiak, Alaska for the purposes of developing fur trading centers. Obviously, with the increase in Europeans in the area, many natives were stricken with disease. As a result, of this foreign invasion, there were a few battles that broke out between the white settlers and natives of Alaska, but it was never enough to run the settlers out of the area. In 1857 and 1861 respectively, oil and gold were found in Alaska, which made the territory even more valuable. Only six years after the discovery of gold in the area, the United States would purchase Alaska from Russia on March 30th of 1867 for $7.2 million. That converts to only two cents per acre due to Alaska's enormous size. Unlike most states, Alaska did not participate in the American Civil War as the land was purchased after the war was over. For a good while, Seward's purchase of Alaska was seen as a mistake despite the great purchase price. Thankfully, the Alaskan gold rush that began in 1897 would finally bring the desired population to Alaska to make the purchase worthwhile. With this influx in population, Alaska would develop for another 60 years before receiving statehood on January 3rd of 1959 by President Dwight D. Eisenhower. The the state has continued to be a big part of America's economy ever since. Well, that concludes our quick history of Alaska. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and click that green button to subscribe. Also, comment telling us the next state we should do in our quick history series. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.